Of extended fullback. 40 points the difference going into the third quarter with Richmond leading 69 to 29. Lee and Fitzpatrick, one by Fitzpatrick. He's done well at the centre bounces. Oh, oh. Harms gets shirt fronted by Malthouse. The Iron Man of uh, the Tiger team, Michael Malthouse. Once uh, Mickey Malthouse lines him up, he doesn't miss many. I'll tell you that now, Peter. You can say that again, and Harms is pretty tough himself and uh, pretty groggy at the moment, too, I would suggest. The old buckle at the knees gives him away. Done. Good mark in front of McClure. He's beaten him well. Harms in the hands of the trainers as Dunn takes his kick around towards the half-back flank. Glasgow getting underneath the ball, can't take the mark. And the boundary throw will take place at uh, left half forward. Wayne Harms having removed the mouth guard. The old uh, smelling salts, perhaps, is it? it? Certainly was a decent old shirt front. Lee and Fitzpatrick again. Preston, Reigns. High towards the boundary line, Duel and Roach. Duel goes for the punch, successfully so, and we'll see a boundary throw in this time. Pretty well right centre wing. 69 to 29, no addition to the score in the first couple of minutes of the uh, third term. Fitzpatrick wins that one easily. Reigns couldn't do much with it. Clomp, handball, Ashman. Harms, well caught by Robert Wiley. Free kick for holding the ball, so obviously he's still suffering the effects of that pretty heavy knock he got from Malthouse. Wiley is at right half forward flank, or a little bit short there from. Flake! Yet another mark to the Richmond full forward. That's six for the afternoon, and they've all been good affected uh, grabs. Let's look at this again, this time coming in from the back. Earlier on, of course, he played per uh, Perovic from the front, and successfully so. So David Cloak has a chance to bring up goal number five for the Richmond side and make the difference 46 points. In he comes. Drops it rather awkwardly in towards the goal square. Chance for Carlton to clear the ball. English takes it over the line. Ball out of bounds in the forward pocket position for Richmond. At the moment, they're 40 points in front. Looks as though English is in a bit of trouble with that leg. Just on the two and a half minute mark of the third quarter. Grabbed by Roach, tries to spin it of the pack. He's grabbed. Plenty of Carlton defenders there. The umpire's paying a free kick. It'll go to Austin down there in the back pocket position. Talking about Wayne Harms, a pair of it to get it now. Talking about Wayne Harms, Peter, I think he's only had about four possessions up to this stage of the match. Most unlike Harms' form, he's been one of their match winners the last few weeks. And they're certainly missing him as the ball comes out from uh, Roach over to Wiley. Up there towards the big fella Cloak again. And it's Tats Bartlett tries to kick it in the air, but it's three for one point. So it's 41 points the difference now. Ten goals, 10-70, Richmond to Carlton, four goals, 5-29. Ball back into play again. Bill coming in to take the mark and up. Bill at half back. Tries to find a, a short kick. It's a bad one of the mark there to Mickey Moldhouse, who flattened uh, Harms at the first minute and a half of this uh, start of this third quarter. Moldhouse's kick is well over the half forward line. Players set themselves. Roach in front, punched away by Bill. Once again, it's Wiley scouting out. Up there towards Perovic and Cloak. It bounces high. Cloak charge for Cloak. Tap the ball on, pouncing on it nicely as Sheldon goes for the boundary line, looking there for English, and he picks it up pretty well down there towards half back. Another short pass, it's okay, and it finds Buckley. Buckley with a quick hand pass over to Fitzpatrick, didn't bounce right, but luckily from there, Glasgow was there. A hand pass over to Malin. They're messing about a bit, Carlton, as the ball goes up there towards the, the forward pocket position that goes over the top of half and Payne takes it over the line. It could be a free kick, yes, indeed. Against uh, Kane, umpire Cameron was quick to pick that one up, and uh, Clark, who's been a pretty quiet player up to this stage of the match, one kick, got the ball on the boundary line, a pretty difficult shot. There's the angle. Right across the face of goals, McClure and Dunn. And it's finally forced through by Martello for one point, so at the four and a half minute mark, it's Richmond, 10 goals, 10, 70 points to Carlton, four goals, 6.30. 40 points the difference, Martello does the kicking in. Lee takes it on the run, a whistle has gone, it will be a free kick to the Richmond Ruckman, which he takes and plays on, up towards centre wing. Kept in play by Brian Wood. I see Sheldon's on him now, Buckley tackles, did Landy have the ball? I thought not. Jimmy Buckley gets the free kick. 
Buckley Carton's best goal kicker at the moment. He has two. At the back, Emmett Dunn punches it clear of McClure. Wiley in possession. Marku. Not a long kick. Rains the fire of the great man. Short pass to Rollins on his own. Preston says keep going. There's no one within Cooey. Now Malin just about there. Bought from the former Hawkstar. Long kick by Rollins. Was it downfield? Yes, it is. Malin let one go. And Rollins down. Free kick downfield. Not exactly what you call sensible. Ditchburn went over to uh, Rollins and said, get up. He said, not until they pay the free kick down <laughs> further field. And, of course, it's worked out OK. So, Williams has a chance to bring up his first goal for the Tigers from a free kick. Shocker. Bartlett. And holds it up for the crowd to see. Bartlett right on the boundary line has kicked two goals in the match to date. And let's see how he approaches this one. It'll certainly be the most difficult of the three. Probably try and run around if he can get uh, clear of his opponent. Going to favour that banana kick, as we call it. What's he done with that? And behind. So 2-3 to Kevin Bartlett at VFL Park. 10-11, 71 to 4 6 30. Six and a half minutes gone of the third quarter. And they're still in front by uh, 41 points with uh, Richmond. Perivrick brings the ball back into play. Up there towards half-back. Fitzpatrick and Lee to go for it. Punched away by Lee. Grabbed here by Sheldon. A good hand pass over to Harms. Harms goes for a kick up there towards centre half forward. And there's a mark taken by Mickey Mulhouse. This Richmond defence is standing up pretty strongly today, or very strongly, as a matter of fact. I thought they could have been a little bit slow with Martello and Strawn down there, but they've been two of their best players. Oh, there's Reigns. Got up before acceptances that time. It'll be a free kick to Sheldon. Umpires call plan because the Carlton players in possession now through Clump. Down it goes there towards that forward pocket. Punched away by Moldas, grabbed by Clark. A short pass coming over to Buckley. A chance to score with his fumble. He's in trouble now, trying to get past those three Richmond players. Taken away by the Richmond defence again by Kane. Oh, he's got one on the back that time. Preston flattening properly. Now uh, Fitzpatrick will get the free kick and the mark. It's at a half back. He's a tough nut, this guy, the ex-Geelong player. Bill got under it. Finally picked up by Hunter. Wiley's after him. The ball out wide now to Glasgow. Possibly uh, Carlton's most consistent player. Long hand pass out to uh, Aspen on his own out there at half forward. Gets the ball up there towards the forward. Pockets off the side of his boot in front there as Kane and takes a good mark in front of Clark. A couple of their name players. The smaller ones have been unsighted today. Harms and Aspen. Aspen's had five kicks. That's most unlike him. Ball back out there towards Roach, flying high. He got up high, he got one in the back. The umpire said plan as Williams and Glasgow battle for the ball. It's Glasgow with Rioli now. He's beaten the both. Oh, he's grabbed by Rioli. Umpire said grabbing the ball. Interesting one. Interesting one. Eight and a half minutes gone of this uh, third quarter, and we see the score. 71 points, Richmond to Carlton, 30 points. Rioli's kick from right half forward. Short pass. Not a good one. Mark taken by Sheldon. To Ashman, kick number six. Glascott, who's had slightly more than that, he's had another eight. That's a total of 14 for him. Malin, Malin at centre field, not a short pass. Looking for McConville. Well, certainly, he hasn't had too many kicks. Uh, one, two, three, four kicks for uh, Peter McConville. Ditchburn. Well, the same could apply for him. Uh, hence the derisive cheers. Maven, long kick up towards full forward. McClure, is that a mark? He's claiming it. Emma Dunn doesn't like the decision. What was your decision at home? It was a mark and a free kick interference that time by, from Landy, I would say. Yes, it certainly didn't appear to be a mark, did it, Luke? Anyway, McClure has a chance to bring up his uh, first goal for the day. If we put it down as a free kick. McClure goals from that particular kick a valuable one for the Blues and the VFL Park in the third quarter Richmond still lead 10-11-71 to Carlton 5-6-36 Jim 
Jordan Buckley has two, Clock one, McClure one, and Ditchburn one for Carlton, and all but one of those goals to the Blues, as I said, have come from free kicks.